Howdy folks, TJ here. Thought I would make my last video of 2019. Maybe do a bit of a recap of what the heck I've been doing. I really uh, kind of jumped into the whole Sinclair computer platform like a mad dog and really got into my YouTube channel trying to uh, document what I was going through, what I was learning. And so I thought I'd make a, a quick 2019 video it's basically been my first year of being a Sinclairian. Um, off the top of my head, around the same time last year, I started reading more about the Sinclair Spectrum Next, got excited about it, and Christmas came and went, and then January I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. So I purchased, because I wasn't on the Kickstarter, some older Spectrums to kind of get my uh, wheels running and learning more about the whole Sinclair platform. So in January, I purchased a Timex TS-2068. I'm in the U.S., and to me, that was the bee's knees. That's the one I had to get first. It just so happened the gentleman that was uh, selling it also had a uh, TS-1000, so I received one of those. Not boxed on that one, but I did get the box 2068, and um, that's where it started. Shortly around the same time, maybe a little before, a little after, I ordered the Omni. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I ordered the Omni first because I was told it was going to take like four months to get it. So I technically ordered that first, but then actually received my Timex uh, first because I purchased that in January. Uh, so that's where the ball rolled and started going. Omni laptop. Oh, what a cool computer that one is. A uh, little laptop system, and uh, really got me super excited about Sinclair. And then everything just from there, boom, I started saying, okay, let's collect some hardware. And I'm not a collector just to collect. I am somebody that wants to use each and everything that I buy in some way, shape, or form, and maybe swapping them out every so often, take one out of the, the scene, put one in there, just to kind of get them all using so I played around with my TS-2068 until the Omni arrived. Omni arrived not too long afterwards. I actually got it fairly quickly. I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. And um, so, yeah, that was awesome. Omni was kind of a, really good for a starter like me because they had the SD card capability. I could uh, quickly start playing games and doing things that I really wasn't quite ready for with, with my Timex computer. So the Omni really got me launched in. Once I started reading about Sinclair more, I go, you know what? Let's play around with learning BASIC. I kind of, if you've been watching my videos years back, I, uh, when I was an Atari kid, I wanted to, and I started making my own first game. Never happened. It was called Invasion of the Cloud People. And I thought, oh, maybe I can re revive that a little bit. And I decided to make it on the Sinclair. I thought the Sinclair was really cool, and that was the computer I was going to create my first game for. So I ended up making my first game on the Sinclair. Uh, I'd say it took me a good solid two and a half weeks of programming after work and uh, when I was had some time that I could play around. Good two and a half weeks, and I created what I call the Cassette 50 quality game. I kind of made a joke. You know, I want my game to be basically one of the games I could have been on this Gazette 50. And I think I achieved that. And, you know, it's not the biggest, greatest game in the world. But for me, it was cool. I set out on a goal, and I actually made a game, and I got it out there, and some people play it. And some people pissed off because it was kind of hard. So I made the game a little easier and winnable, and then people started winning, and then it was cool. So I still play it. I enjoy it, and I know there's a few folks out there that play from time to time. So that's what really got me excited. I made my first game. How cool is that? Then I started continuing to collect other Sinclairs. Uh, I purchased the uh, 48 Plus, and I purchased the uh, Plus 3. And during that time, I had a QL in the hopper. Uh, that one ended up not panning out. As you kind of watch my video, there's a long time of going, oh, I was supposed to get it, but the one that I was going to get didn't work out. But then, magically, in November, I received my first QL, so I had a QL. Uh, what else did I get? Um, my toast rack. 
That is right now pretty much, I guess, the baby of the bunch. That's the one that I use the most. I, I Well, if I'm programming and doing stuff, it's the Omni because I can save quickly to an SD card. On my uh, older Sinclairs, I don't have any type of SD capability as of yet. Uh, so the Omni gets used if I'm going to be doing something that I have to save. Otherwise, if I'm just going to play a quick game, it's on the toast rack. I've got it connected to a nice big 43-inch uh, TV in my office, and I go up there and I play my games. And so the toast rack. So that was one I spent a lot of money on. But again, if, if I buy something, I'm going to use it. It's not going to be like a quilt, and I've got lots of quilts in the house that hang up on the wall and don't do anything other than for prettiness. I actually use my stuff. So got the toast rack. And all during that time, I kept saying, oh, I can't wait to get it next. Oh, I wish I had put my name on the Kickstarter back when it started. And so I kept poking at it and poking at it and saw people selling theirs. And, you know, I just didn't feel quite right about trying to buy somebody else's pledge. A lot of them are all overseas or in different countries. And there's a lot of uh, chance that you're taking it by buying a, a pledge. But eventually one just popped up. And it was a gentleman in the United States, where I am, in California, where I am. It just seemed like a no-brainer. So I made an offer, and he accepted. And so I'm now officially on the first uh, pledge of a next. So really, that was my most exciting, I think, moment for 2019. I'm going to get a next. And it almost it looks like a lot of people were almost going to get them for Christmas this year. Didn't quite happen. It looks like they're now making them, and people are going to start receiving them probably in late January, early February. So if all goes well... I'll receive my next in February of uh, 2020, and it's going to be super exciting. I think it's going to be a great year for me to learn more about Sinclair. And the kind of the neat thing is I'm on the same playing field as everybody else. Everybody else is going to be receiving a 2020 case next for the first time, just like me. So it's not like it's 1980s and I didn't jump on the Spectrum bandwagon back then and I'm now 2019 learning it and just getting it for the first time. I'm along with everybody else. So pretty cool. And I'm excited to, I keep saying, I want to uh, continue on in my Invasion of the Cloud People game learning. And the next is going to be that. I can't wait to get the computer, read the big manual that's supposed to come with it and learn how to make uh, my game for it and use some of the cooler new capabilities for it. So that's going to be a big thing for 2020. Let's see. Normally when I set myself to a goal, I achieve things. I I'm not somebody to say something and not do it. I normally say it, and I get it done some way, shape, or form. So hopefully 2020 means that I um, update my game for the next and uh, get it out there and see people play it, and uh, it will be pretty cool. So 2020. Uh, looks to be a great year, but I got to say 2019 was pretty awesome. Uh, I, I received and purchased quite a few Sinclair computers. I'm learning. I'll continue to learn, and it was a pretty uh, fun year in that respect. Let's talk about YouTube a little bit. So prior to that, I've been on YouTube since 2007, I think. Posted my first video in 2008, and I built up to about 400 members, roughly. Uh, and it wasn't something that I did all the time. I just, when I wanted to video something, I would do it, whether it was Volkswagen, a retro computer thing, or my tank car fly fishing, and I would put one out there every once in a while. But in 2019, February 1st is when, boom, it all really, I started really getting excited about YouTube and my Sinclair documenting what I was learning so I can watch it later and remember what the hell I did, because otherwise I forget a lot of things. So, um... Started making videos, getting excited about it. Used an old 10-year-old video camera that I had. No lighting. Uh, so a lot of my earlier videos were you know, kind of darker. Uh, and uh, I was learning, you know, going along the way. So during that time, I started, I want to get into YouTube more, make my channel better, and started really working on my videos. I purchased my first, and I'll take a picture of it so you can all see it. I don't have any big crew <laughs> videotaping me, and that shows probably, but I've got a camera. Uh, now that I'm using actually my Google Pixel uh, phone, it's actually a really good camera, and it takes pretty dang good videos. The sound is so-so, and you would need to invest in a um, mic, but it's better than the Sony, not Sony, Sanyo, Zacti, I forget the name of it, 
but the uh, video camera that I was using, uh, a little bit uh, higher quality, and then I got lighting. Lighting was the big thing. So my light, uh, I, I think I had definitely went up a notch in terms of lighting my video. I know it's still probably not the best, but you can actually somewhat see me, and I'm a little bit more clear, and it's not dark and dank like a dungeon. So I think I'm getting better at it, and um, so yeah, YouTube got me excited. And then pretty quickly, you know, basically during the year, it's not like my station or channel's viral or anything, but I'm getting near to a thousand uh, subscribers, which is really cool. I had been at 400 for years, and then I really started working on my Sinclair videos and documenting it, and um, so I'm getting near, uh, you know, a thousand now. I'm 943 or whatever it is. So. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to my channel. Hopefully I'm doing things that make you smile. And, and I'm sure just like anything else, there's some crackpots out there that no matter what you do are going to dislike your video and say it's shit. That's fine. You know, that's the way the internet is. And then the majority of them, though, that you feed off of them. And majority of the folks seem to be liking what I'm doing, whether it's silly. I mean, the whole last month I did my first advent calendar. So this month alone in December, this is going to be my 30th video. So basically a video a day I did. I did 25 uh, advent calendar where you open the little uh, Timex door and I had some either silly video or something pretty uh, uh, Sinclair related or Christmas related. There was always something Sinclair in it. And then I ended it up with a, a really silly uh, Finding the Christmas Clock Chicken. <laughs> and I'm sure people watch that and go, what the hell is this guy doing? I'm getting off this guy's station or channel. <laughs> it is what it is. But I enjoyed making them, and hopefully you guys did too. But it was a lot of work. I mean, I had to make a video every day, and I kind of stockpiled some and got them set to come on on certain days. And So I think it worked out pretty good. But I wanted to do kind of an official video to wrap up my year. So YouTube, it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully in 2020 I break that 1,000 subscriber mark, and I continue to grow. And that's where the Patreon came in. I've never been on Patreon before, but I thought, what the heck? There's been people in the past that have sent me either, you know, a little gift card for going out and getting some beer or something like that. So I thought, what the heck? I'd open up a Patreon account, and I did. And I have two members, Bob Bo and Rob Heaton. Thank you very much for um, signing up. I received my first payment this last December. And uh, I should have brought my whiskey out because officially it was you guys did the $4 a month plan and, and to give me enough money to buy some booze so I can drink it. I should have had a little shot glass out here and, and pour myself one, but maybe I'll do that in another video. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for being my first patrons on Patreon. Very cool of you. So if the rest of you, any of you out there like what I'm doing, brings a smile to your face, I'm not against you know you sending me... Uh, a uh, couple of dollars through Patreon, and that will help me buy some more booze and whiskey. And every so often, I'll do a video to kind of celebrate you all for uh, helping me grow the channel. Uh, I need to get more lighting. I need to buy a mic. I'm not a rich man. I don't have tons of money. Uh, and what I have, I try to save up to buy actual Sinclair hardware things that I'm going to be reviewing or doing videos on. So every penny counts. So it's very cool. Anybody that wants to subscribe on Patreon, cool. Thank you very much for doing so. But a big shout out to, again, Bob, uh, Bo, and uh, Rob Heaton for uh, being my first two. Thank you very much. Um, also, some thanks. A um, uh, uh, couple of folks have sent me some goodies throughout the year. Just received from Sean Melor. He had some extra tapes. And I don't have many games or anything on tape for, for Sinclair. So he sent me a whole bunch from overseas and, and gave me a little nice Christmas present. Thank you very much. I'll be doing reviews of those in the, uh, in the future. And also from a, uh, another gentleman here in the U.S., um, I, I, I should have had his name, I think it's Rob Henna, something Henna. I will get it right eventually, and I'll, I'll put it at the, at, uh, in the text on the video. Uh, he made an offer I couldn't refuse on getting some tapes he wasn't going to be using anymore. And thank you very much for the great deal you did on those for me. I'll also... Uh, Thank you as I do videos and when I review those games. And uh, thank you very much for those. And then Dave Park, uh, he's my QL, link to the QL world. Uh, so I purchased my QL overseas. Uh, and all the tapes, pretty much for any of those micro cartridges, you, you need to refill them. And I've never done that before. He offered, he's in the U.S., to refill them for me. So I sent them off to him. I haven't received them back yet, but 
He's refelting them for me. It's going to send them back ready to use, which will be great because then I can start using my QL and get to learn that even more. So 2020, QL, definitely going to jump into more Sin regular Sinclair, everything about it, and of course the next. Can't wait for the next to arrive uh, as, as well as probably the other 3,000 plus people can't wait to get theirs. So I'm pretty excited for 2020. Hopefully you are. So this will be the last day I wear my Christmas hat. I'm by a nice uh, roaring fire right now next to the Christmas tree and um, thought it would be appropriate to kind of fade out 2019, move on to 2020. Should be an exciting year. Thank you everybody for being part of my uh, channel and for those that like my videos, thank you. Uh, every like kind of spurs me on a little bit more. So if you watch my videos, uh, give it a quick like if you like what I'm doing. I appreciate it. And then again for Patreon, if you find a few extra dollars in your wallet and don't mind supporting my channel's growth, thank you for doing that. And I look forward to 2020 and everything that it's going to bring for all of us. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Happy 2020 to you and uh, 2020. 2020. <laughs> uh, have a great one and we'll come back with a new video in 2020. See you guys. Thanks for watching.